Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Ines Alea, and today it's Filmmaking Friday. In the last Filmmaking Friday, I showed you how to shorten a music track professionally in Adobe Premiere Pro. This was a manual task, but now I'm going to be showing you how to do the exact same thing automated in Adobe Audition. So the reason why I made the other video is because a lot of people don't even have Audition, but Audition is a dedicated audio editing software which is really amazing and it can completely automate the way on how you can shorten or lengthen your music or audio tracks. So let's jump into Adobe Audition and see how this is done. All right, so like in the previous tutorial, I got my music track from Artlist.io. I will put a link in the description so you can go and check them out. They have a subscription-based platform where you can download amazing quality music and you can also use it in commercial projects and you have copyright-free uh, music tracks for on YouTube so you don't have to worry about the thing and they really have a high production value so that's really awesome. I'll show you the track, uh, well, I'll give you a listen to the track right now. Okay, so that's really awesome and like you you might know a lot of people when they tend to have like a one minute track What I'll do is just fade out their music until it's silent and that's a very unprofessional way to do it because then because at the end of each music track you really have like an outro So as you can see, they apply some really cool effects to fade it out very professionally. It's just an outro of a song. Basically, music works exactly the same way like a movie. You start with an intro, then you have some variety. You have an uplifting moment, a downlifting moment. Depends on the music. But basically, you have an intro section, a mid section, and an outro section. And that's also how it should be with video. But yeah, a lot of beginners tend to uh, just fade their music out and then just like stop it at the middle without an outro. And yeah, in this video, I'll show you how to shorten your music track or lengthen it to your desired time. So right now we're working with a music track of four minutes and 40 seconds uh, on average. So yeah, let's get started. So I imported my audio right here by just right clicking, import and selecting my music track. I'm working with an MP3, but um, Artless.io also offers their WAV formats. And that's really cool. But in order for this effect to work, you need to start with a multi-track section. So we'll have to go to File, New, and add a new multi-track session. So uh, click on that, and then just give it a name, or just click OK. And there we have it. So now we have a multi-track. We want to drag in our audio right here, OK? Right here we can see that it's currently set at 4 uh, minutes and 40 seconds uh, plus minus. So it's a little bit longer, but that doesn't really matter. So what you want to do is then go to the Properties tab, and if you don't see that, you can go to Window, Properties, uh, which is right here. And yeah, if you open that up, you can enable Remix. So Remix is something new that came in uh, CC 2015, I think, so it's not that new anymore. But uh, this is a really cool tab. If you enable Remix, it's going to calculate uh, the clip, so it's going to analyze it in the background. So let it do its thing. And once that's done, you can see that you have target duration currently set at the original value, but you can go and change this to, for example, one minute. So you click on that, you change this to one minute, and, and there we go. Now we have set it at one minute. Of course, it's going to like uh, bleed out a little bit, a few seconds longer. So currently it's at one minute, five seconds. Uh, I personally don't really mind that because yeah, that just allows uh, the software to calculate it better. Uh, and if you're going to zoom in, you're going to see where it actually made the cut. So you can see these swiggly lines right here. Uh, so currently it made a few cuts, like six of them, uh, if I'm correct. So it used four cuts to uh, bring this track to one minute and five seconds. So if you don't like that, you can just stretch uh, to the exact duration. And if you do that, it will analyze again. And sometimes that might bring some artifacts. You'll have to uh, manually remove these, but now it's perfectly at one minute. I don't really like doing that. So I'm going to uncheck that. I really don't mind that it's one minute and five seconds because that allows some time to kind of fade out the video. 
Currently you have the edit length and the edit length is actually uh, where the squiggly lines are. And if you're going to bring this down, it's not going to really care where to bring these edits. So you can see that these edits are very close to each other. If you don't like that, uh, again, for artifacts, bring this too long and you'll see that these swiggly lines have more distance between them. For the features, uh, you can also enable uh, if it's going to cut on the harmonic uh, values of your audio or more on the timbre uh, values of your of your audio. So yeah, basically 50 is, is perfect in most cases in all the audio that you have. It might do a perfect way uh, on removing that, but of course you have to check with the vocals. So uh, sometimes it might cut on that. By playing around, maybe by bringing it to harmonic, it's not going to cut in the uh, in the vocals. And then a minimum loop is also, again, uh, the spacing between the swiggly lines. So currently, ev every eight beats, it's allowed to do an edit. What you can do is increase that if you don't want that many uh, edits. And uh, you can also increase that very long. And then you'll see that they have a very big distance between them to edit that audio track. So again, everything that is kind of standard, it's usually perfect in my opinion uh, i've never experienced anything going wrong but now we have a one minute track so let's have a listen to that to see if there is anything that you can notice So as you can probably tell, you can't hear any difference and you can go even shorter if you want like a uh, 30 seconds uh, song, you can go for 30 seconds. Currently you don't see a lot of variation by bringing this edit length down, you will start seeing some more variation. You will see the midsection right here, which is really cool. Uh, maybe a little bit less, there we go. Okay, so uh, right here we start seeing this med section again, and you can really play and mess around with these settings to create an organic and beautiful uh, song that is just on your exact time code. So uh, for your exact time code. So what you can do is also make it, for example, 30 minutes long if you want like a background song for your tutorials like I usually do. I just uh, set this to 30 minutes and then I just trim it down uh, for my tutorials. But you can see that now if you're going to zoom out, we have a track that literally lasts, uh, yeah, 30 seconds, at uh, 30 minutes. Uh, of course, we have to just increase this too long. Okay, so you can see 30 minutes of this song. Probably I'll get bored of it by then, but still, <laughs> you have the option, so that's really cool. And now, once you're done, you simply go to File, Export, Multitrack Mixdown, Entire Session, and then right here you give it a location, a format, WAV is usually one of the, the better ones. Well, it's always one of the better ones. And then you just click OK and there you have it. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. Apart from that, check out our website. We have a bunch to offer for filmmakers and motion graphics artists. And if you buy something, it really helps to support this channel, so that would be really awesome. Apart from that, I just hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.